Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see Sagittarius, what do we have for you? Show me important messages for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. What do we need to know? Sagittarius. Show me important messages for Sagittarius. Show me important messages for Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So, Sagittarius, uh, we, we might be connecting here in this reading for you with someone who might have blue eyes, who has piercing, or you have blue eyes. Doesn't have to be the case, okay? But you, but indeed, this person might have uh, blue eyes that we are connecting, with whom we are connecting in this reading for you. Well, I can tell you here that this person is, uh, it's, 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 they have a crush on you, okay? This is someone who's very attracted to you, who also wants to kind of show you that they have good and pure intentions, that their feelings are pure. It's like this person is falling for you, Sagittarius. We have luck, so it feels that, you know, luck is on your side here, Sagittarius. And it's like I'm getting that you're attracting good luck, prosperity, abundance. And also there is something here about a positive outcome regarding this whole situation. You know, when it comes to this person, I feel quite strongly here, Sagittarius, that this person might be a runner, okay, because we have this card here. This is someone who can get very easily triggered or, for instance, um, it's like you might be in touch with them, let's say for uh, four days and suddenly this person, like for a one day they are not in touch and you see them, for instance, online or you know that they are using, for instance, social media or they are on their phone, or for instance, they read your message, but they are not replying. This is someone here who's quite insecure. That's what I am getting because we have fears. It's like I feel this person has this kind of tendencies to be stuck in their head. They are overthinking, overanalyzing things. They might be looking for something where, where, where is no need for, for doing that, you know? The thing here about this person is I feel that they might have recently kind of made a decision that they really want to uh, to kind of leave the past in the past. They want to kind of move on because this is overall energy. I'm also getting very strongly here, Sagittarius, that you are healing. You are healing from a certain situation and actually you might be at the same kind of point in your lives where both of you decided to kind of move on from something from the past. Okay, so let's see, let's see Sagittarius, let's see, could you please show me more about this situation, two of cups, yeah, you see, this is someone who is in love with you Sagittarius, oh my gosh, the lovers, very much in love with you I would say, Temperance. Oh, Ten of Cups, beautiful. Chariot, Three of Pentacles. Show me more, please. Ten of Wands and Seven of Cups. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Sagittarius, you might be dealing with Gemini. I have your energy, Sagittarius as well. So maybe another Sagittarius. Uh, I'm also, I also have here Cancerian energy with the chariot. Also Taurus, very strong Gemini and Virgo. Okay, so far in this reading for you. So Sagittarius, well, you have someone here with the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Temperance and the Ten of Cups, who is completely and utterly in love with you. This person has feelings for you, very strong feelings. Two of Cups, it's a card of relationships. You might be dating this person or you might be in touch with this individual. However, if you've been wondering if this person is taking this connection seriously, oh yes, they do. This is someone who really, really has love for you. With the temperance, the lovers, it's like there is this healing energy and that's what I was getting. This is mutual. For some of you, you might feel like this person has... Um, it's like when you are in their company, you feel really relaxed. Uh, you feel very good. It's like this person has this healing energy, you know, that... He, you might very much kind of feel from them. If that's the case, this is a mutual feeling that that both of you might be having about each other, okay? But temperance, uh, it's a beautiful card because it also, you see, we have this two of cups here as well. We have two of cups here. It's all about love when it comes to this, this first row here uh, regarding this connection, Sagittarius. This is someone here with the temperance who wants to um, move on, but also it, this person feels that when the time, when the right time will come, they will make an offer of uh, to 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 kind of um, to take this connection to the next level, like you know, making or taking a next step, something like this, making next step. Sorry for my broken English. But um, with the Ten of Cups, this is someone who sees you as they happily ever after. Okay, this is someone who wants to be in a serious relationship based on love and mutual understanding. We have such strong energy of cups. This is someone who is the, with the lovers. This is someone whose focus is directed on emotions, not necessarily practicality of the connection, but this person really, uh, they have so much love to give and they also would like to be obviously loved in return but um, if you are chatting with this person or if you are in touch maybe so for some of you are dating or maybe you are even in a relationship but um, I'm getting here that for some of you I guess for a lot of you this is like a connection that you might be talking with this person And they really, really, really want to be with you. This is someone who wants to date you, who wants to spend every minute of their day with you, who wants to share things. They feel very strong soul connection with you. They see you as their soulmate. You have someone who is seriously interested in you, who is falling for you, who has a love for you, um, and who wants a serious relationship. We have a chariot, three of pentacles, ten of wands, seven of cups. Uh, this person who's been a runner here, uh, it seems like they are gaining some sort of kind of um, courage. It's like this person truly care with the chariot and they're going to chase you. This is someone who really wants to kind of prove it to you with the three of pentacles that they can be a great team player. That at the end of the day, both of you have the same um goal and it's like both of you seeing things very very similarly if i can say it that way you know this is someone who really wants to show you that they are willing to compromise and uh, that they are a great material uh, for a long-term partner Big time. Ten of Wands with the Seven of Cups suggests here that this person, again, momentarily might be a little bit overwhelmed by the emotions that they have for you. But what I am seeing here is that they truly want to, it's like they want to rush in into serious relationship with you, but they know that it might not be the greatest idea at this time. Therefore, this person 
really wants to take things slowly, but at the same time, they cannot wait when both of you uh, will be able to kind of move this connection into the next level. That's why it is a little bit overwhelming for them because they would like to make that move, but maybe, you know, uh, you might be facing certain circumstances at the moment and this person feels essentially that oh, I need to give I need to take it slowly because Sagittarius it's quite it's a lot of going on in Sagittarius's life Sagittarius has a lot on their mind or maybe they are facing you know that sort of kind of situation nevertheless you have someone here who really really wants to be with you ten of wands with the seven of cups also suggests here that this person indeed um, it's like they I feel that you're dealing here with someone who has quite vivid imagination uh, with the seven of cups and it's like there is something about them uh, assuming a lot or kind of you know again being very stuck in their head overthinking things and I feel it can be quite overwhelming for them but this person is aware of that, that that tendencies that they have. And with the Ten of Wands, it's like they really want to kind of release it. They don't want to, maybe maybe you're doing here with someone who's quite anxious. And, um, and they are really, 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 really thinking a lot about, um, it's like, I'm getting someone who is kind of assuming, well, it can go that way well if I do this it might go that way then if I if I won't take any action then it might go go that way you know many possibilities but there is no need for doing that it's just this person needs to kind of release this energy and go with the flow because it feels like it's it it, it, it it's looking really really promising the Empress is an overall energy for this part of the reading suggests that this person sees you as divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine but this is someone who um, really puts you on a pedestal uh, it's like they sees you as their divine counterpart and also this person person has expectations regarding this connection regarding this connection because uh, empress is all about creation all about progress progress that brings prosperity abundance you know happiness and stability and this is what this person truly is about regarding this connection this is someone who wants to create with you a stable relationship okay let's see Sagittarius let's see this person's feelings for you could you please show me this person's feelings for Sagittarius mm -hmm. okay so we have strength we have the devil And we have the Wheel of Fortune, all major arcana, Eight of Wands. You might be dealing Sagittarius with Capricorn. I have very strong Leo, your energy again, Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Okay. Uh, the fact that we have your energy because Wheel of Fortune is hugely associated with your sign, Sagittarius, it, it feels very strongly, big, big, big time strongly because we have strength and the devil. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, this is someone who is only thinking about you. Uh, to the point that with this energy and with this energy, strength here only strengthen this energy. This is someone who is obsessing over you, Sagittarius. They, are, they have passion for you, they find you incredibly attractive. Um, the energy it's so strong those feelings that this person has for you I really cannot explain how strong they are this is someone who wants you and only you they are completely and utterly not interested in anyone else it's like they are convinced here that they found a person And they really want to they they really really want to be with you this person can be a little bit jealous indeed with the devil here um, but this is more about how strongly they feel about you and the, 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 
the strength of their feelings that they have for you. I feel this person kind of, you know, because this is, you know, this is a tricky energy because it depends on surrounding cards and what we're asking about. But in this case, I'm getting very strongly here, Sagittarius, that this person is just thinking non-stop 24 seven about you this person here is convinced that you are destined to be together with the will of fortune eight of wands uh, this person is very passionate about you they are very attracted to you very very attracted to you but this is also someone who really wants to be in touch with you who wants to talk with you non-stop that's what I am getting also, they want to take action. It's like their heart is telling them, maybe you should kind of, you know, express something here to Sagittarius or reassure them or kind of, it's like this person really wants to go an extra mile to kind of show you that they truly care because they do. Oh, they do. So if you've been wondering if this person has feelings for you, you can be 100% reassured here that they do, that they are really very much in love with you, Sagittarius. But they can be quite jealous. This person can be quite cleany and maybe, you know, it can, within time, it can be quite uh, tiring, but it's nothing here that cannot be kind of, you know, adjust or fixed. Show me this person's actions towards Sagittarius. We have a Knight of Swords. Show me this person's actions towards Sagittarius, please. Seven of Pentacles. So we have a Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands and Seven of Wands. With the High Precious here at the bottom of the deck. You may be dealing with Pisces. Uh, you can be reassured here that this person will chase you in a form of uh, sending you messages every day on a daily basis. I'm getting with the Page of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, this person is invested. They are going, they are going nowhere. No. Three of Wands with the Seven of Wands. This person doesn't want to give up on this connection. Um, with the Seven of Wands, it's like they will try to prove it to you that um, this connection has a future with the Three of Wands. High precious here at the bottom of the deck. It's it represents this person's um, at the moment kind of maybe um, um, not attitude, but it's like they know that they. <laughs> it's like this person is trying to kind of follow their intuition, and their intuition here. It's I feel this person deep inside it's torn. On emotional level because they do want to express feelings for you that they have for you or they want to come with some sort of really really kind of serious and solid offer but it's like their intuition is telling them that they should wait because the circumstances at the moment might not be uh, kind of favorable because again it, it it can be you know you might be facing a situation here Sagittarius when you have so much on your played and on your mind and it's just like at the moment you just need to kind of focus on this thing but of course i feel that you are very much welcome this person's affection and i can reassure you here that this person will court you but this is someone here who is hiding you know uh, a fully day intentions because um, there is something here again about circumstances if, if the circumstances were a little bit different and they will change that's for sure 
this person will kind of sooner take action. But it's like they are following that intuition that it's telling them, listen, you need to kind of take it easy, uh, go with the flow. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome, please. We have the death card. Show me the outcome, please. Show me the outcome. Five of Pentacles and the Hermit. Well, so what I am getting here that this person you might be dealing with Scorpio, I have also Virgo energy. I don't see things changing drastically in the near future or in a uh, in the immediate future. However, I see this person open opening opening up more to you, Sagittarius, because it feels with this energy that you will seize them completely differently. Or there will be something here that this person will tell you about them, about their experience. And you've kind of, um, I feel that it will make both of you kind of, uh, even this connection more stronger. You know, it will make this connection more stronger. Because let's not forget we have luck card here. So, and we are talking here about outcome. And, you know, first kind of look here, we, we have the Death card, Five of Pentacles, the Hermit. Mm, you might feel like, oh, this is not a very, very kind of uh, encouraging outcome, let's say it that way. But let's not forget about this card. And we have positive outcome. This is, this energy, it's about this person. This is someone who really wants to open up to you and they want to share something with you, something that was life changing for them certain change here happened in their life and they have to just accept this with the five of pentacles i feel for for some of you this person will share that maybe uh, they went through some sort of kind of very difficult period in their life that they didn't have much okay when it comes to uh, you know 3d everyday life and that really kind of changed their outlook about life in general with the hermit this person mm, this person really went uh, within here and it's like with them because you see overall energy we have a knight of pentacles and it's a very steady energy this is the slowest moving knight in a deck but it means that slow and steady win the race this is someone who's coming with an offer but it's like again they want to take it slowly but surely and um, if you are going through something really, really difficult at the moment, Sagittarius, this person here will be very supportive towards you, or very supportive in general. Because for some of you might be uh, facing, for instance, some sort of financial difficulty with this energy. Um, and momentarily you might feel lonely with this energy if that's the case it's very specific it doesn't have to be the case this person will be there for you and they will be supporting you but i'm also getting someone here who will tell you their life story and you will see them as someone who is incredibly strong who kind of picked themselves up and um, achieved a lot you will see them as someone who is uh, who doesn't give up very easily. Whereas I feel when someone else would be put in that circumstances that this person will be telling you, you might feel, oh gosh, that that's really tough. That's really tough, but but you've overcome it. There is something here, Sagittarius, about telling telling you their story. And also, if you are going for something quite challenging at the moment, this person will be very, very supportive. Because overall energy for this outcome is Knight of Pentacles. This disconnection will stay as it is. 
uh, for now, but uh, you have someone here who loves you very much and they don't want to lose you. And that's the bottom line here, Sagittarius. So you have nothing here to worry about uh, and it feels that I'm getting day energy. This person here will indeed share something very, very personal with you that they went through. And I feel that it also kind of, you know, will strengthen this connection because um, it's like you will feel that you have someone who is able to understand you and provide you with the good advice. It, it's a very lovely reading, Sagittarius. You have someone here who who is in love with you, who wants to be with you, who is quite understanding and who will not give up on this connection, irrespective of circumstances that you might be facing at the moment. Sagittarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Sagittarius, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.